Good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks again for coming in. Uh, just want to welcome first um, Nasir's mom, April, and his sister, Kamaria. They were, we were lucky enough to have them join us, and they've, uh, they've been greeted. Whoops. We're going we're gonna to fix that? OK. Um, they've been greeted very friendly by everybody in Portland, as you can imagine. <laughs> so um, they've, they've received a great welcome since, we got here, since they got here on Saturday night, spent some time together yesterday, and we'll open it up to questions. First off, uh, how great does it feel to be here? Oh, it's extremely exciting. Uh, you know, just foremost, being in the NBA in itself. And, uh, you know, for me, looking at the roster, I think I have a real opportunity to come in right away and uh, be able to contribute, you know, and make another playoff run. How much being in the same spot in the dance with guys that you know well? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It provides a sense of comfort. Um, a guy I'm familiar with, a guy that I played in high school with. Um, and I think it's just cool to see two guys from the same city kind of do big things and, you know, be in the same place. What's your summer look like? I assume you're going to start getting ready for summer league uh, shortly here. Yeah, uh, you know, I think we start uh, summer league practice next week. And um, we're going to do that. I don't know exactly what happens after that, but uh, I'm going to figure it out uh, pretty soon. This year I'm going to get a little deep on you, but was there a moment or a time in your life that kind of helped define you? Mm. Having to live in England? Uh, uh, nah. <laughs> I think uh, one of the biggest moments for me was like in middle school. Um, I didn't do that well academically, and I just told, told my, myself and my parents, you know, from this point on, you know, I'm going to get A's for the rest of my life, A's and B's for the rest of my life. And uh, I now did. it's B's? Yeah, A's and B's. <laughs> yeah, I said A's and B's initially, but. I definitely got I got all A's, so um, I mean that, that for me that was important because it showed like my self determination, and um, you know and that's how I kind of started to develop you know my work ethic and things like that. Did you really uh, roll to LA Fitness at 4 a.m. and come back at 10 a.m. in high school like to kind of? Oh, every morning, yes. Every morning for how long? So, and just describe why you did that and that whole point of your life. For two years, so two years. for that that schedule was wake up at like 4:40 in the morning. Uh, go to the gym at five, uh, work out from five to six, then I would go down the street to like this weight room trainer, and then work out from six to seven, then like go home, hurry up and get changed, and then go to school, and then do the school thing, have basketball practice, and then that when I got home, after I did my homework and stuff, I'd go back to the gym, and I did that every day for like two years. And what would you, you just worked out or worked out by yourself in the gym? Yeah, it was me and uh, my t a couple of my teammates. So, and uh, I mean, it wasn't always just like working out would be two on two, uh, playing pickup, things like that. What, what, describe the dedication, where that comes from, why, what, what motivated you? I mean, for me, it was just, you know, I'm a perfectionist. I want to be as good as possible at anything I put my time into. And, um, you know, basketball is fun when you're good at it. So, you know, that, that was my main, my main purpose for that. What's your first impression of, of being in Portland? Uh, the people are really nice out here. It's like, <laughs> everyone's like, welcome to Portland, welcome to Portland. It's kind of, and I'm from Florida, and uh, people are nice out there, but it's, it's not like this, so um, it's pretty cool. When did you want to become an NBA player? Um, I wanted to be an NBA player since I, was, since I was young. I mean, I just said it, but it didn't really become reality for me until I was about like, 16 years old, and that's when I really started to lock in on it and uh, trying to just get better every year. You say you're a perfectionist, uh, but by all accounts, last year wasn't perfect for you. How did that kind of affect you or, or motivate you? I mean, for me, it was just trying to get through the year in the best way possible. I uh, was being productive as possible in the minutes I was given. Was there, I mean, did you sail through that level-headed? Were there kind of ups and downs? Did you struggle with your role and all that? And, and how did you work through that? Well, it was a struggle, and there was up and downs. But, you know, for me, kind of person I am, you know, I'm going to get through the storm. And I already, I already know it's going to be great on the other side. So, uh, you know, I just stayed positive and got through that time. And, you know, I'm here today. Is that what heard from some of your new teammates, Dame, CJ, since the draft? Yeah, CJ hit me up on Twitter, and I just met all these guys over here today. So, um, you know, they all been really welcoming to me, and you know, making me feel a part of the team already. 
How have your parents and your family supported you throughout your basketball career? Well, they've done a lot. I mean, you know, from taking me to the gym every day, taking me to practice, uh, helping me, you know, eat the right stuff. Just, you know, they've done so much. I don't even want to list it all, but I mean, they've been a huge part in, uh, um, you know, they played a key part in, you know, helping me get here. Can you describe what it's like to have uh, a couple of military parents? I mean, it's, it's not like what people would think. It's not like I wasn't up at four in the morning with the bed made and all that type of stuff. I was just, no, nah, they just kind of let us be kids. I mean, for the most part, you know, it was nothing really crazy like most people would expect. It sounds like you did a lot of traveling, like mm -hmm. just growing up. What, what are some of the places you, you lived? I lived in Hawaii, Virginia. I lived in England for a little bit, Washington, D.C. What are some of your other interests outside of basketball? Uh, play some video games. I uh, really like music, um, so yeah, that's really it. What's the one thing you think you need to work on most? I say ball handling. What are the last since the draft just you know, leading up to that to now, has that kind of been like a whirlwind? Like, what's that process been like to you just the last few days? It's been exciting. Uh, I mean, you know, this is the point where it's like you're filled with hope. Uh, you're just so ready to, you know, play that first game and just kind of get situated. You're excited to be in the new city. So it's just been exciting. I'm just trying to embrace it. Have you established any personal goals as far as next year, what you can do? Um, you know, not specifically, I mean, for me, it's just trying to get acclimated, uh, get in the best shape possible, um, you know, you just kind of get adapted to the team, and then from there, you know, I started doing things like that. What's the significance of number nine? Uh, I just, they sent me the sheet of available numbers, and I was just like, uh, <laughs> and I remember I had a 2K, my player, who wore number nine, so I was just like, I'm going to just wear number nine. Decision yeah. <laughs> it's a number, so. Okay, Zach, any questions? G Trent, you got anything you don't want to share on Twitter in here? <laughs> G, like this Carolina blue shirt. Jim, front or back first? Uh, front first. Here, we hold it You got one-on-ones or anything for him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, thanks, everybody, for coming in. Yep, thank you.